Now for this piece, I want to tell you about positions. Now it's the position you adopt inside any given relationship. This is one of those things I really wish I had an easy way to explain or a very quick way to explain. I don't, so I have to give some examples to try and explain what I mean here, so please bear with me. Now, in any given relationship, a relationship is defined by the position of two objects in relationship to each other. So for example, I could have a person here, I'm really close, I'm not so close. We can talk about having a close relationship or a not very close relationship. Closeness, metaphorically, refers to, in part, the position they adopt with each other. They're not very close to each other. Now, if I just give you an example of a thing, it doesn't actually matter what that thing is. That's the thing to which I'm gonna have, I'm gonna relate. And just to keep things easy, and this will become clear what I mean here, that's the front, that's forwards. So for the thing, that's forwards. And for the person here, which could be me, that's also forwards. So I'm behind it. So these are the things that I can do in relationship to this particular thing. I've got its back. I'm backing it up. I'm directly behind it. I could be following in its footsteps. I could be falling behind. I could be holding it back. I could be giving it a nudge forwards. I could be following it everywhere it goes. I could be putting it in first place. I always put it first. I put myself second. So those are some of the things that's possible from adopting that position. But we could have a different position altogether. You see, we may not be here. We could in fact put ourselves here. I put myself first. I put it in second place. I expect it to back me up. I could be leading the way. I could be setting the pace. I could be setting the direction. I could be blocking its way. I'm the leader. I put myself out in front. I could be clearing the path. Again, these are all the things I could be doing from this position, which are very different in terms of the relationship to being in that position. I could be here. I'm on top of this. I expect that to give me support. I expect that to look up to me. I could sometimes look down on it. I feel like I'm on top of everything. I could be in a different position. You see, I could be down there. It's all got on top of me. I give it support. I feel like I carry it through. It weighs heavily on me. It expects me to support it. It's again, very different position. Or, I can't really draw this in three dimensions, but I could be to one side of it. Now, if you listen to the language, I could be on the right side of this. I could stay on the right side of this thing. It could feel like it's been left. I could keep it on the right side of me, and I could feel that I've been left. So again, we've got the left and right positions. So we have six different positions according to where you are, or you could be in the seventh, which is in it or part of it. Now, I'll give you some real world examples of this. Um, in my early 20s, I was, I was a nurse in accidents and emergency. When I first started working there, we had a very senior consultant. He was the senior consultant for accidents and emergency, and he was getting quite close to retirement. This was a man who's seen it, done it, been there. There was nothing that could happen that this guy hasn't been part of and been in charge of. He had nothing left to prove. Now, his position for the department was really, really simple. Everyone in that department, if that's the department and that's him, Everyone in the department knew they had his backing. He backed them up 100%. He always put them first, and everyone knew he had, he had their backs. In behaviorally, the kind of stuff we would see with this guy was that he was very keen for everyone to take a front position when it came to critical care. 
So if people were in a position it's like, oh, I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to deal with this, he would be right behind them, quite literally, and put them first. And he could give people a little nudge just to get people to start to increase their own personal expertise and experience. I never once saw him put himself first unless there was a situation that required his skills. He was very keen to put everyone else first most of the time. Brilliant guy. This unit, this department, took on a certain atmosphere. It was dynamic, it was vibrant. Everyone felt they were put first and they were important. Then he retired. At around about the same time, there was a whole lot of health reforms that were brought in. So the, the manager that was brought in in his place, the next consultant, an equally brilliant man, equally as accomplished. But the position he was put into was very, very different because he had to lead a whole load of health reforms that were politically in the area at the time. So where he came in was here. This was a leader. This was a guy who put himself first who expected the department and the people in the department to back him up. He was leading the direction that the department was supposed to go. He was also setting the pace. And suddenly you had a big shift in the dynamic of the people in the department. We had a whole bunch of people that were used to being first. Now they were in second place, having to back up the reforms that were being led by this chap. We saw a huge transition in the staff that worked there because the experience that these people had was no longer the same. So the pe they left to go and take front row positions elsewhere and people came in that were used to being the person who would back up their boss. So there was a huge shift in the, in the dynamics. So basically what, what I'm saying here is the position that the person adopts to the thing to which they relate can actually change the experience of the thing when in fact that stays the same. So here's my challenge for you, here's your task. What is, the def what is your default position? What is the position that you prefer to adopt in the different contexts? For example, money. This is an interesting one for me and I often ask this in, in money workshops that I do. What is the position you attempt to adopt with regards to money? The single most common answer that comes back, I'm trying to get on top of my money. I'm trying to get on top of my finances. Gives us a lot of weight. They expect their money and finances to support them. And they're often, they find that their money worries get on top of them. So they try to reverse that position by getting on top of their money worries. The difficulty with that is, everywhere they go, they have to be supported by that. And this may now start to constrict and, rest and well, restrict where they can go and what they can do. What's your relationship with your best friend? Where do you position yourself? Or where do you, would you prefer to be positioned? Where do you try and get to? Think about this. Two young men, best friends, they both try and put themselves as leader. We have a very fast paced relationship that's built around competition. Some people always prefer to be in second place. I, we see this with couples. Behind every strong man, there's an equally strong or stronger woman. She will take second position, putting him first. Now that can work brilliantly if he likes being in first position and she likes being in second position. So she backs him up and he takes the front. But what happens when she gets behind a guy who himself prefers to be the one who's behind? Now we start jostling, you do it love, no you go first, you go first, no no you go first. You see how that can work. It can get quite stressful. It's not a symmetrical relationship and it may not last. So often we find partners and friends and bosses and employers that reciprocate the position that we prefer to adopt ourselves. And when we find ourselves in difficult positions, we often move and go somewhere else. These things happen quite invisibly and are everywhere around us. So often the position that we adopt is reinforced by everyone we know inside our environment. So when we try to change our position, we get a resistance from everybody else because it's symmetrical. Everyone reciprocates where we are. 
So as we become aware of this, you can start to think about this. What's your position in relationship to food? And let's break that down. The relationship of your position or your position relationship to your food, the food that you buy, the food that you generate, the food that you cook and prepare. How does that compare to other people's food? And by other people's food, I mean, you're invited around for dinner. You're trying to lose weight, but you're invited around for dinner. What's your default position there? Do you try and get on top of that thing? Do you follow it? Do you just try and put it to one side? Do you try and lead it? Where do you, where do you position yourself in relationship to that? It's kind of a weird question, I know, but if you start thinking about these different things, you can think about what is your preferred position where you're trying to get to. It gets stranger. What's your default position in everything? For so many people, their default position is here. They're behind. People like to think of themselves, I'm not, I'm not a follower, I'm not a follower. But actually, you'll be amazed how many people are here. You only have to see what happens when there's an incident and there's thousands of bystanders, but only one person goes forward to try and help. A lot of people, and I found this myself with my accident and emergency background. I've attended a number of incidents that have happened out in public places. And what always fascinates me is how reluctant other people are to be forward. But how incredible the public are when I start issuing demands or orders to people for assistance and everyone will, people are amazing. But it requires someone else to take the lead. A very common default position is here. It's very common in any society because we have managers and we're leaders and we have politicians and we do what we're told, sometimes. So if that's your default position, who and what leads you? especially in respect to dieting and weight loss. So many people follow a diet. They follow a diet plan. They follow their dietitian. They follow their followers. Now, if you're following, that may be useful. But what happens? Sometimes it gets away from you. Sometimes you fall behind in your diet. Sometimes you're trying to catch up with the diet. You may want to reconsider that. Is following a diet there's the diet, actually the best thing to do. And what would happen if you start to orientate yourself through the other five positions, including the other position, which would be the seventh, being part of the diet and actually being part of the change as opposed to following the change. Think about that one. Now, what I'd really be keen for people to do, please leave feedback, feedback, comments, questions, and your experiences of this in the comments section here, because it'd be very useful to share this information. I'll be interested to see what people find with this, but I think also people's experiences can help others too. So I look forward to seeing your comments in the comments section.